Florence, Italy. Known for its masterpieces of Renaissance art and architecture, Florence is a gorgeous city full of vibrant culture, endless entertainment, and most importantly, delicious food. My family and I got to spend a fair amount of time here, so I got tons of content. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. What's up, guys? It's your boy Loon here. Welcome to another video. Today, we are in Florence, Italy. Italia. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, we went to Venice, and Venice was a great time. We had kind of had a short set. Today, I'm super excited because this is going to be a long food tour episode we have four nights here five days we're gonna really get to explore Florence food and Florence whole scene and there's gonna be a lot of vlog parts in here so I hope you guys enjoy this vlog so sit back relax and enjoy the family adventures featuring white girl lore mama doe baby doll mother and then papa doe's in the toilet this is cool. how you know you're in Italy so let me give you this we're about to get some uh, good old Florentina food just to teach you guys this is how to holler at a girl ciao bella I don't sound Italian enough. Why are you saying it like that? I'm trying to be Italian. The roads here are tighter than my butthole. That's what I'm saying. You got the horses in bed. <laughs> we got Wyatt Sizzle, Fendi. Where's my Bottega? So this is your neck of the woods. What's that? She's not from the south. <laughs> This is my neck of the woods. Dude, look at this place. This is Plaza del Repubblica. Hey. I might stay here. So if you guys don't see me anymore, I'm out here in Florence. We so are we moving here? We are yeah. known for our leather, so we have leather <laughs> Todd just goes, yeah. <laughs> so we're at Tattoria Daloste, one of the top 101 steaks. So I'm excited. We're gonna get steak, steak gang. Florentina, steak. <clears throat> I don't have, I don't know where you stay. We don't tell them that you get me right here. There's literal human bodies in this place. Dad goes everywhere and gets a beer. You know, you know the deal. He said it's the same as Venice. So like all, all the beers in Italy is pretty similar. My dad said he wasn't a fan of this. It literally tastes like bread that you leave in the refrigerator for two or three weeks. Vino Chianti. Oh, this one has a strong smell. Oh, it has a berry flavor to it. Seems like they squeeze red grapes with cranberries. Oh, that looks really fresh. Outside the orange womb, fresh. Look at that. Yeah. You know how many oranges died for that? The first time my dad's been happy all day because he sees actual red peppers. This dude eats red peppers everywhere he goes, dog. So we got a cheese board, we got bruschetta, and we got some mussels right here. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's it, it's good, guys. Yeah, I know it because it's Vietnamese. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually a Vietnamese dish too. It, to try a bite. My dad likes it. If my dad likes it, it means a lot. It tastes like beef, right? Oh yeah, you smell it, you know it's our Vietnamese culture. Mm, pretty good. It has a really strong liver taste because it's pork liver. Yeah, it was pork liver, babe. The tomato itself, phenomenal. All across Italy, tomato's amazing. I would say the bread isn't good, but also it, they let it soak a little bit too much, so it's like a little too wet. The tomatoes are great, just not the bread. These are mussels. That is a ton of flavor. That's really good. Let's try some mozzarella. Mozzarella. Oh, oh the mozzarella. Oh my god. You can definitely tell that it's from Italy. Damn, everything here has been good so far except for the bread. Dude, dad asked for more and they done hooked it up. Look how much they gave him. He was like, I'm gonna bring it home with me. Sheee. This thing bigger than my left nut. Sheee. And Tao wanted to go get Via after. How is it? I like them bloody. Wow, holy shit. That is a really good steak. It's so juicy, melt in your mouth good. Like it's soft and tendery. That's a good steak. Try the potatoes. Oh, delicious. It tastes just like if you picked it out the farm and started roasting it. This is mushroom flat noodles. Oh my god, you know what that tastes like? Really good ramen noodles, flavor-wise. This is way better than Venice. Cup of ramen noodles, but like way better. Those are like snowballs. It does look like snowballs. Tao, try the tiramisu okay. for me. Venice better. Lemon, sorbet. So lemon. This is good. Let's go. This one's strong. So lemony. Tiramisu. Oh my god, I need to get that too. 
It's very uh, fluffy, like a meringue. I'll just do a little dip. Don't take too much. Don't take too much. This just smells weird. The cookie itself is weird. Oh, what in the world is that? It's not even good liquor. Oh my god. Uh-uh. Jim Beam mixed with apple cider vinegar. Uh-uh. Lemon sorbet. Yeah. Bro, one of these balls is a whole lemon that is just in the form of a sorbet. It's so flavorful. It's like eating a um, extreme sour candy. Brain freeze. One bite. Oh, overall review. Most of that was almost better than all of Venice. The best things that are must order is the Florentine steak, the flat noodle pastas with mushrooms, the sorbet banging, and the cheese board. Very delicious. All of those great food. Honestly, you can't really miss with this restaurant. Tattaria Dal Oeste. Total score, we're gonna round it at a 9.1. Great place, highly recommend this. Order anything here, especially the steaks. Yeah. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. My bitch love do cocaine. <laughs> My guy playing Final Fantasy music out here. Yo, DJ, turn that Kingdom Hearts up. Tell me why this Apple store looks like Harvard University. All right, friends, we are on my iPhone again. Now I'm gonna meet a bunch of Lorena's friends. Lorena's friends for the first time. I don't know if you guys can see this, but apparently you can drink out in the streets. What the fuck you tell me? Yo, this is like Vegas, bro. Uh, there's a lot of uh, really skinny, slender, tall dudes here. I feel like I need to donate to uh, the Florentine government some uh, meat and squat racks. But that is the Duomo. Apparently you have sex there. Isn't that That's a, thing? a church. <laughs> oh, it's a church that you have sex at? What the fuck? Florence is crazy, bro. So according to Game of Thrones, the guy died before finishing this. I can't believe this is where Joffrey got married. <laughs> Phoebe is my roommate currently. Okay. Then we got Jenna. My future roommate. Who's my next roommate. Okay. Then we got Kai, who's my very good Who's gonna friend. be sleeping on your couch soon? One of the most beautiful men in the world. One of the most beautiful men in the world. Oh my God. He's an amazing yeah, drag queen yeah. and we love him. Tonight was fun. We got to hang out with Lauren's friends and roommates and everybody. Love Yo, what the fuck is this? Kebabs! Kebabs! Alright, so we're getting kebabs. Mesopotamia kebabs. Batamia. Batamia. I'm gonna let you guys know how it is. You've had this before, huh? I have, but I don't think I've had fries online. He put fries in it, bro. It was lit. So, he hooked me up with a little Frankenstein. He like mixed and mashed because there wasn't a lot of meat left. This has an actual kebab in it, too. Mmm. Mmm, that's your buff. Mm. <laughs> Let's try the baklava. It's pretty cheap too, it's only like a one euro. They make it a little bit different here. I don't know why, but it reminds me of like a glazed croissant. It's like soft on the inside, flaky. It's not traditional baklava, I don't think. It's good. It's not the best baklava I've ever had, but it's good. Uh -huh. Total score, 8.4. I'll give them 8.4. Solid. Nice guy too, so. Many hours later. All right, guys, day two in Florence. Parents really miss Asian food, so we're gonna go get some Chinese food really quick. I wanna get some pizza and some recommendations that my friends gave me. So I'll probably eat something light here and then just give it a quick review. And then later, we're going to Gucci Gardens, which I'm really excited about. If you guys didn't know, Gucci was founded in Florence, Italy. So we are at in a very authentic Chinese restaurant. You can see they don't even have anything like American Chinese. It's all like classics, which if you know, you know. So we're gonna try these dumplings out. Oh, pretty good. It's all right. Really chewy. So you can tell they actually like handmade it the outside, which is good. But the inside, it's not too, too flavorful. It kind of tastes like ground shrimp, pretty much. Here's the little egg soup thing right here. Seaweed and egg. It's got this like um, really light taste. Like it's good for the morning, I guess. It's all right. It needs to be a little bit more flavorful. This one actually looks really good. This is eggplant. Oh, that's good. This eggplant tastes like super soft, caramelized. It's on top of a sweet and salty type of sauce. Very caramelizing glazed, very delicious. Mm -hmm. The rice is kind of mid, could be cooked a little bit more. So this is pig foot. <laughs> you know you Americans out there ain't gonna know. It's pretty good, it's not bad. Definitely solid, I would eat that, but the eggplant is the best so far. All right, so these are sweet black sesame balls. Sweet balls. The soup is really sweet. It tastes like sugar water. Mmm. 
This is good. Probably the second best thing here. All right, now we're gonna try this. Got some fish. It's very fresh fish. However, it's a little flavorless. So if you dip it in the eggplant sauce, greens. When I was a kid, I hated this. It's good, very flavorful. It tastes like sauteed spinach, but way more crunchy. It actually has more flavor because of how they seasoned it. So it's really good. So dad and I are adventuring alone right now. We're drinking some coffee at this random hole in the wall called Time for Gelato. Let's see if their coffee's any good. Try it first. Yeah, <laughs> a little strong. Zucchero. We're putting the sugar in. Tim, no. He said one is good. Let's put some ice in it. It doesn't matter the weather, we still drink iced coffee. Oh yeah, with the sugar and the ice, it's good. That's good. This is better than all of Venice. For a coffee, this is an 8.6. I think there's an imposter in my room. I think someone's sleeping in my room. Who is this person? Um, excuse me, I think you got the wrong room, ma'am. So we are on the way to the Gucci Gardens, but we're gonna stop by a leather store, Michelangelo's leather store, um, to buy my dad a widow dead jacket. Clip your hand mm -hmm. inside out, put the leather together, you do one fold and two fold, and it stays very nice. It's, this way never wrinkles and takes a small room. Wow, dad, look at your new leather jacket. How you feel? By the way, pro tip, you guys are in Florence or anywhere in Italy and you buy anything at a shop or vendor, you can bargain prices. Like he was trying to sell them for 368 cash. And I was like, no, nah, we got 300. He was like, no, I can't do that. I was like, well, I'm gonna walk out. I found a store for Lauren. So we're officially at the Gucci Garden. This is Tao's dream right here. She's so happy right now. Gucci gang, Louis gang, Fendi gang, Dolce gang, Sachi gang, Prada gang, lot of gangs. I don't really fuck with no brand names. So this is a, a little design room. Shoo! All right, you get one pair of shoes. Which one are you going with? How about these? Orange strawberries. These are fuego. Honestly, I, if I could keep shoes clean, I would get that one. Black for love? Yeah. That's what I picked. Oh, really? Yeah. What? Now look down. Yeah. What the f you tell me? Hey, my up. Okay. Lauren, you get one hairstyle for the rest of your life. I'm going the British uh, Parliament government hair. Parliament? Parliament fives. Dog, I thought this was a real girl for a hot second. Wait. I might leave you for her. <laughs> Yo, Jacob, are you gonna shoot those deer? Woo, Jacob Green, I wish you were here, brother. You might have shot one. All right, one more time. Model walk girl. Bonk, 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 bonk. What? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Gucci's yes. next line, featuring Tao Lee Do from Burlington, North Carolina. Oh, hey, this was good. Your next top model from Vietnam, Too Soon Tran. Uh, 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 what's up? Pageant girl. Oh, glasses off. Lauren Bates. Yeah. Kwang-do! <laughs> Swagalicious! Look at that! Drip! Drip from head to toe! Let's -a go! What in the squid game is this? Dude, this looks like a horror movie. What in the world? Yo! Shy got hands on her. How freaking hilarious is this? Bro, they hit the bathroom so well, you wouldn't even notice it. Look, I didn't even notice there was a freaking doorknob right on his dick. Shit, so this is the bathroom? This is what's popping here? Can I go in one? No? Is that me and Zorn? Zorn's feet are really black these days, huh? Oh, they about to smash. This looks like Zorn with that big ass nose. Zorn? Zorn? Is this Saw? Hi. New season of AHS right here. Look at that. Dad asked if this was Gucci. Student loans and Lauren. Dude, so we're in the Gucci store. Look how freaking drippy this Vietnam shirt is, bro. Vietnam! But that shit drippy. How much is this? Dad, Take a guess. Uh, I'm thinking two, two grand. Five. Oh, you win. Four and a half. Yo, my guy jamming out here. Come to find out my girlfriend is bougie. She got us in a freaking mall going on fifth floor. You know fifth floor is the most expensive floor, right? Wow. 
Look at this view. Leonardo da Vinci or Leonardo DiCaprio? Guys, cheers. Tesla over a thousand. Yeah. Huge shout out to Elon Musk because Tesla just hit a thousand as the recording of this video. Look at this freaking lineup. This is when you know you're hungry and you've been doing stuff all day. Thank you. Grazie. Got a whole charcuterie for sure. I got him That's new spicy. No? Mm. Can I even eat it? Yeah. Alright, so they said this is really spicy. Let's see how spicy we talking. That's spicy. It's spicy, but not the type I like. Tastes a little bit too much like um, ghost pepper. What the hell is in this? It's, it's bearable, but it's spicy. Let's try this. This is squid ink uh, linguine. It tastes like super fishy. Like you can taste the fish. It's a pumpkin soup. Let me know what it is, Lauren. What did you do? Fire? Ooh, a lot of flavor. I actually really like that. A little sweet because of the pumpkin. An herby taste too, yeah. and it has cheese on top. Tastes like Thanksgiving, but like schnazzy Thanksgiving. Okay, this is spinach ravioli. Mmm, fascinating. I would say it's less flavorful, but with the cheese, it's delicious. It's a little bit more like healthy veggie. Really like, like this restaurant's really good. The salami is good too. You know, the salami is even better than yesterday. This cheese board is better than yesterday. All right, let's try the dad's beef. It's okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. I would say the beef yesterday was a little bit better though, but it's so good, really good. Now the real test is, will I spill this on myself? Oh, you like this? Mmm, I miss lasagna. It tastes so, um, like homemade. Yeah, yeah, it tastes so homey. I would say almost everything here is so delicious. The lasagna literally is like grandma's lasagna and grandma's name is, what's a grandma's a name like in Italian though? Nonna, Nonna Carina. Lucia. Nonna Lucia made it, you know, it's delicious. The best order though, it would be, in my opinion, lasagna, this cheese board is fire. Definitely the pumpkin. Like everything's so natural. Location, you're by the piazza with a great view and you're on the rooftop. Uh, it did take a while though, considering there's one person working. So I'm gonna say 8.8. .8. Great place, highly, 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 highly recommend you guys check this place out. Yo, I tried the salad and it's actually fire. The pear mixed with the pumpkin seeds, great taste. You can eat a lot of it. That's what I like. It's not overwhelming at all. I'm a huge fan of that. For all the team big biters out there. Mr. Struggle. A few moments later. Michael Gas really good. What are you doing? Flossing. Out in the streets. Flossing. Flossing while flossing. <laughs> First night out with the family. Look at what I'm wearing. Our 100 music is mine, Gucci. So I asked the hotel, could we get a mask? Because Tao <laughs> forgot to bring one. And look what they brought us. It's a cologne. See? Wow. Whoa, even Gucci a... brand. <laughs> 100 anniversary? Oh <laughs> How many it. euros? <laughs> All right, so we are at Don Nino. It's right outside the Duomo and it's open till like 12, which is pretty lit. Ciao. They got mango here. Okay, I'm getting mango. Are you getting mango? Yes. Shoot, now I gotta get something else. I'm not sharing. You're not sharing? How about you wanna try mine? You wanna try mine? No, I'm not sharing. She actually got mango now. I fucked up. It is so good. So it tastes like creamiest, lightest gelato ever. Gelato is better than any other. Most ice cream, right? It's very light. You're very light. Really. And I love it, dude. You can eat like unlimited amount of this. I think it's so good. I got hazelnut. It tastes like Nutella. Long story short, it's really good. I'm not gonna dwell on this. We're gonna go out tonight. What did you say to Lauren? Happy birthday. <laughs> Cheers, Dad. I told her that this was orange juice. <laughs> the fact that some one dude 
help design this and do those little freaking statues. You did all of them too. Like I, I, the video doesn't do it justice. I wish you guys could see this in person. These it's unreal. Literally. It's 1 a.m. and we're out here at Cold Drinks and dad is so happy because he can walk around with a beer <laughs> in Italy. He's having more fun than you on your birthday. <laughs> My guy Sawson. 24 hour McDonald's right outside the hotel. Let's fucking go. How's your beer, Dad? Good. <laughs> Buono te, ta McDonald's. No. Vasiotto. Sacero. English, please. <laughs> I want. What is that? There's a freaking cheese stick. Should I get fries with bacon? What kind of desserts they got here, huh? Hold up. Sweet temptations. <gasps> what in the world? The $13. Yo, are you guys okay with eating here every day? They have tiramisu and cheesecake at McDonald's. And, and tortas and macaroons. Oh, what gosh. in the world? Donuts. You guys hearing this right now? They got a whole Nutella bar. <laughs> yeah, this is your birthday present, McDonald's, baby. I love you so much, I got you McDonald's. What is it called? Flat? Or... Like a cheese. Um... You literally cheese and like ham on a toast. It's a, a euro. Yeah. Is it good? Dude, this is like a grilled cheese. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm. I fire oh, that. Nutella toast. They barely put any Nutella on it. What it is? Well, I'm not gonna let you wanna try it? Sure. Yeah, Jim. Like it. What? No, no, no. He said it's not too sweet. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Oh, um, blue baby. Oh. It's literally an English muffin with Nutella in the middle. <laughs> what does it taste like? An English muffin with Nutella. Literally, it's not bad, but it's not great. You need a muffin. It tastes like a chocolate croissant. Surprisingly, McDonald's in Italy. I'm giving you guys a score, just better total score. US. Better than U.S. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Easy to American, they put too much shot. In Where the McDonald's come from? Yeah. USA. <laughs> yeah. Why in U.S. no good than? <laughs> so yeah, true. Yeah, better than the U.S. No, so true. Yeah. All right, so I ordered a Euro cheese stick. The cheese is really good. Literally a cheese stick. One euro. One euro. <laughs> Let's see if it's good. It's smaller than I thought. The picture made it look really big. No, in Italian. Very Parmesan. Good. Yes, it's better than US. Yeah. What in the f better than US? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not bad. Really? Huh? It's like Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the best Parmesan. It's not the worst either. It's just Parmesan. Oh, it's Parmesan. Yeah, it's literally it's like a block of Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah. One hundred percent different in the yeah. US. Oh. Yo, so like, I'm not trying to say anything, but like, I think I'm the hottest Asian here with the fact that there's a population of like one Asian here. Actually, there might be two. There's like an old guy. And I think the old guy is probably cuter than me. So never mind. I'm like the second cutest Asian here. It's one of my favorite Italian restaurants right here. So today is Lauren's birthday and we're going to Korean and we're going to, you know, spend some family time before we actually split up. My sister and mom are going to be going to the mall of Firenze, which is like a stupid nice mall. See, my dad's going to be doing dad things. Me and Lauren are going to do a couple of things for her birthday. Look at this armored tank, bro. How many cheat codes do you think he used to get that tank to spawn? Uh, Shit, I might lose my girlfriend. There's gonna be a Korean guy in there and she'd be like, Jay Park? So we are at Zon. Super authentic Korean, but we'll see how good it is. So we're gonna try the aloe first. Oh, this is good. It's a little um weird though, the aftertaste. Oh, the grape juice is amazing. Better than the aloe. What in the world? It has grape in here. What? Oh my god. I think it's good. So Even better? No. Can you open one? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's been marinating in sweetness. Imagine sweet green grapes formed into a juice, but then there's actual grapes that have been pickled in sweetness. So good. This is what it looks like. Cheers. Team dumpling. Pretty good. It's a vegetable dumpling. It just tastes like a vegetable dumpling. That's pretty good. Although, I'll say the outside is pretty cool. They leave the crispy part on it. This part's fire. Nope. It's kimchi rice bowl. Thank you. This is what I'm excited for. Sheesh. It looks like almost like a mac and cheese ball. It's a kimchi rice ball. See how this is? Oh, it's hot. That's what I told you. It's like 
Be careful. Oh my God. It's like burning hot. Oh, it is hot. That was really good. Dude, it looks so interesting. Look at the inside. It, it's really good. It tastes like the best rice and kimchi mixed inside of a fried ball. Like, you can't really mess this up. And they put cheese in it. Bison. Taboki time. Let me see how spicy it is. So this is supposed to be spicy, but Tao says it's not. But is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Really good. With the cheese. Oh, wow. The flavor is delicious. It's really good. Oh, my God. The cheese. <laughs> it's so good. It's a little spicy. Alright, she's gonna start crying. It's so good. We go to Italy to try other people's food. Dude, look at this. You want one? Want it? So this is Korean chicken. Mmm. It's like an in-between between teriyaki and orange chicken. The meat they use is a white meat. Oh, we're golden. Okay. It lacks a little bit of something. It's still pretty good. Very great place. I would say half the food is really good. And then half was like solid. So taste-wise, I'm going to give it a score of 8.4. Location, uh, 8. Service and ambiance, 8.2. Overall score, 8.3. Karia. My dad and mom have something for you for your birthday. They got you a present. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. The white girl gives the Asian parents a hug. Oh, look at dad. Dad and I had a rude awakening of ex foreign exchange. You guys are traveling to the to Europe. I'll give you guys a pro tip. Just use your card. <laughs> Even with the 3% fee that you're probably gonna, your bank is probably going to charge, it's nothing compared to switching it for cash. It is good to have some cash on you. However, just change it ahead of time in, in the States and just use that. It gets pricey. So father and I have found it that if you order an espresso with ice on the outside, it's banging. If you add just one sugar, they put it in a light bulb. That's pretty cool. Oopsies. This changes the game, guys. It's stronger than yesterday's. It tastes like coffee. Solid. Quick score, 7.8. Not as good as yesterday's. Are you happy? You got your little purse. We got. We came back to Michelangelo's, our friend here, and uh, he hooked it up. He also said that I look like Jet Li, so. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. All right, so we're out at the Piazza de Repubblica. We're meeting up with her amigas. We're getting approved appetizers. How do you say appetizers? Aperitivos. Aperitivos. Can I be in the video? Yeah, you can hold it. Oh my gosh. Hey, we're in the vlog. Hold on. I'm gonna fix my hair. Oh, I got the mic. We're getting aperitivo right now. Look at this nice carousel. I'm trying to speak into the mic. <laughs> haven't met me already. You look like I am Lauren's roommate. I am Lauren's <laughs> I actually am the reason that Lauren and Luna are together because I convinced her to get back on Bumble, so... Ooh, big facts. Later that night. We are on our birthday date. La Giostra. It's very, like, schnazzy in here. I want to get a view of this whole place, like... Believe it or not, this is actually a spell book <laughs> from the School of Dark Arts. Tell me why they use Comic Sans as the font, because now I can't even read it. Everything is in Italian, so I'm, like, kind of lost. <laughs> It's not bad. <laughs> Get the taste of the liver. I don't love it, but it's, it's, it's a lot more flavor though. This is pork liver. A lot of flavor. Just still tastes like liver to me. It's like a biscuit. Oh, yeah. You know what this tastes like? If you were to make a savory cake pop. <laughs> the tomatoes are really good, but the bread isn't. It's like a little stale. That's how they do crazy salads in uh, Italy. Tomato, mozzarella. Whichever one is the material. So we like go for this one or this one or this one. Mm, it's pretty good. That's the first time I'm gonna say I'd be willing to just eat tomato. Think about the juiciest tomato you've ever had in your life with authentic mozzarella. Not that DiGiorno's mozzarella. Mozzarella from your mama's cow titties, huh? My guy came out looking like we need a poo like with this little honey jar, and I'm like, oh, are we eating sweets? I open it, boom. Parmesan. It's cocaine. Oh. Parmesan. It's Parmesan. <laughs> Hi friends. So we went to dinner for Lauren's birthday. It was very interesting experience. Not a great one, but I could uh, say the least. We waited an hour and 40 minutes for five pieces of ravioli. Uh, anyways, we got gelato to make up for it at Riferino Gelato. They have persimmon as a flavor. My mom has a persimmon tree and like that's so rare. If you guys don't know what persimmon is, it looks like an orange, but it tastes nothing like an orange. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me try the lemon. 
bro, that tastes like melon. That's fire, bro. It's not too flavorful, but not too anything. It's not too anything, but it's really good. It tastes like melon. Does it that's taste a like melon? Up melon right there. Bro, yeah. The lemon's good too. Holy shit. Yeah, it's fire. That's you know a, that's real gelato. That's a Approximately 10 hours later. Yo, what the fuck is up, guys? I don't remember the last time I talked to you guys because last night was a last night was something, I'll tell you that. Old girl over here and I had an interesting time at the club. Today, dude, I, I am exhausted. That's what, that's what today. Lauren missed her class. Five hours to sleep. I need coffee. We are going to Michelangelo's gallery today, which is essentially where the original statue of David is, which is Liddy Titty. And then right after that, we have um, the Dome of the Duomo, 500 stairs. So that will be very fun. So you guys are gonna get to see some fun touristy things. You know, it's crazy. I planned everything for three and five, and yet my sister still might make us late because uh, we were supposed to go eat before and now she's still not ready. So I'm like, cool. So we're gonna pick up McDonald's because McDonald's is the best thing in the world oh dude last night we actually got mcdonald's i didn't film it but we got mcdonald's and the chicken wings busted also the cheesecake aye, 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 aye. us eating mcdonald's every day could be the reason why i'm bleeding blood right now but you know you only live once we about to order this whole damn restaurant what's up it, it's a club bro there's a line to get in Lauren, I forgot to tell you that now that you're 20, I don't think we can date. I only date teens. I'm like Leonardo DiCaprio. No. Dude, it is slamming. It's Halloween decorations. It. And there's Halloween Thank decorations. Thank fucking God. I'm tell me what kind of person spends 52 euros at a McDonald's. Lauren, I have an important question for you. Do you have your passports? Did you get your shots? Girl, let me take you back on with loon to Vietnam. With Rob to America. Bruh, we bought the restaurant to the fam. Look at this, bro. This is everything you want in life right here. This is a gourmet cheesecake. This is a gourmet macaroon. This is a gourmet salad. Gourmet wings. Like, how do you... Gourmet. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. These two are my favorite. The wings and this. It's good. It's fine. It's just light. Not bad. All right, let's see if their burgers are good. You can taste like Chick-fil-A. Huh, tastes like real beef. How? It doesn't taste too much of anything. Uh, I can't tell if I like America more, burger-wise. You do? I, I can't tell. That one tastes more organic and healthy, but I think that's why I like America's more. Yeah. Because it's salty as fuck. Lauren's got class today, but the gang minus Lauren is going to the Museum Galleria Academia, which is the one with Statue of David made by Michelangelo. So when you go in here, you have to show your COVID card, but after they got to check your stuff. Guys, look at this place. So this one was made by Michelangelo. Very interesting look. Yo, tell me why this Loki is Lauren. <laughs> so this is Lorenzo Bartoni. Wow. Here we have it himself. The statue, David of Hasselhoff. That's about the same size as a me, man. It's crazy how well they kept this together. Look at how chiseled this dude is. This dude has the perfect body, bro. He definitely does abs. Probably does some push-ups, but I don't know about the squats. To think that this was made like so long ago, people had minimal tools. I feel like I'm in another planet seeing something like this. It's just so perfect. It, it almost looks like you're, he's a giant person that's real. Look at these masterpieces. Dude, look how big this Rocher is. So we are here at Piazza de Duomo. I got lemon and strawberry today. It's so sour. So good though. So we are at the Duomo right now, which is the church. And uh, we got tickets to go up to the dome, which I'm super excited about. I don't think they're ready for this long stair walk. Look at how cute this is. My dad's going all in, taking pictures for my sister. So this is the Duomo. So now we must make the hike thousand hikes also this place looks really interesting we're exercising right now guys come on look at mom we literally just started mom's tired Tal's over here struggling all right come on there easy money wow now i realize how unfit you guys are whoa these are like spiral stairs i feel like i'm in harry potter right now yeah there you guys 
Look at the art up there. Jeez Louise. This is the ceiling. How beautiful it is. Rumor has it, a giant guy painted this. I'll explain. Also, the walkways are like super narrow, but everything is with plexiglass, so you feel pretty closed in. Whoa, where are we now? Guys, we're about to see it all. Look at the city. Oh. Look at this little sneak peek on what we're gonna see later. It's so crazy how this all looks. <laughs> we're almost there. <laughs> look at mom. <laughs> Guys, look at mom. She's so tired. That's not fine. That's not sufficient. This part's kind of like a pyramid. Whoa, look at this, guys. It's so narrow. Whoa. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. This is insane. I don't think the camera even does it justice. I wish you guys could see this in person, jeez. And even the columns they built here are ridiculously pretty. You can see in the other cathedral. We out here. Gang, 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 gang. You can see every little person. It's crazy to think someone actually built this place. Like, what in the world? How much to get my kitchen counter table to be like this? That was dope. Now we are heading back. The crazy thing is getting down. It's about to be a really fun ride. Dad was like, is there an elevator? <laughs> I feel like we're in national treasure. The stairs are so narrow. Look at my foot. I like going down sideways. Plot twist, we're actually in the jungle searching for a lost artifact. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Going down is super easy. Going up reminded me of just like being on the Stairmasters for like 10, 15 minutes. And we are on the other side now. You tired? <laughs> Freedom, oh watch out, watch out. All right, gang gang, we out here. Sushi Nami. We getting sushi, except for dad, because you know, he loves fish, but somehow he doesn't love sushi. So we're at the final food spot of the Florence part one food tour, because we're actually coming back here. We got this miso soup right here, look at it. Pops and mom didn't like this. It's very brown miso soup. It's not very light looking. It's very, very salty. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's like a five out of 10. So this is the nut shot angle. I'm gonna try the seaweed salad here. Pretty good. It's actually not bad. Cheese. I say, I say, bussin'. No cap on God. Really? So what I like to do is I just like a little bit of wasabi. Braised on it. A little bit of lemon. Light dip. Not bad. I wouldn't say it's like the best sashimi I ever had in the world, but it is really fresh. I'll admit that. Pretty flavorful too. Show me what's up, baby. Solid? Let's go. Let's give this one a try. Only fit I can eat, but fit and dry I can Wow. I don't know. It's so good. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna be a buck with y'all. I had low expectations for this place because we're in Italy eating sushi. So I didn't think it was gonna be good. But so far, it's actually pretty good. This one here has Zoran's pubic hairs on it. I can't look at it this long. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. I've tasted Zorn's pubic hair before. It's really flavorful. He grows a lot of hair. It's pretty good. Dad said that this one's good, and Dad never says anything's good, so let's see. <laughs> Whoa, that one is good. Really good, yeah. It tastes like pasta udon, you know? Yeah, that's good. Oh, look at Tao. She's becoming a model for the sushi. She. All right, everybody grab one. Oh, this looks great. This looks good for someone basic like Lauren. What did I do wrong? Oh. Is it good or no? It's pretty good. It has cream cheese in it though. Okay. If sushi was at a state fair, it would be that. Like state fair food, how everything is like fried all the way to the bread. Pretty good. I like it. Just to show you guys a live taste of this, I already tried it. They also put a salty egg in there. The soup is like the miso soup. The noodles is good though. Everything has been great though so far besides just the soup. Hi guys. Hi. I hope you guys enjoyed the Florence vlog. Um, Mom. Should I keep that in? <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed our Florence vlog and food tour. We had a great time. Some of the most amazing food. I'd probably say like the steak there and what was the most notable? Steak. Oh, the cheese. Freaking Ooh, cheese. Oh, the cheese, the meats. The cheese, the meats. We are actually in Greece. Fun fact. This is going to be a teaser into the next video. I hope you guys yeah. stay tuned. In a week or two, I'm going to post our Mykonos Greece food tour. And, then, and with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I am Maskotron. Uh, 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 I'm actually a masked knight. Oh, yeah, I'm a ninja, bro. <laughs> Can you even breathe? No, because your legs are open. Oh!